for tuning in. Today I want to do a comparison video between the Chanel Belt card wallet and the Fendi Nano Baguette. I actually have both of them here right now. So this is the Chanel Belt card holder that has come out as part of 21C. This is part of the Cruise Collection. And this is the Fendi Nano Baguette. This particular one was part of uh, the Spring Summer 2020 collection, the Joshua Vidas collaboration called California Sky, but they do make a whole ton of designs in the nano baguette size. So these are the two that I'm going to be comparing today. I will be going over what fits inside, some notable design differences, and ease of use for each style. I recently did a Chanel mini bag comparison video, and I felt like a lot of you really enjoyed that and found it informative so i wanted to quickly uh, do this comparison quickly as in i unboxed this in january i think this was like my first designer haul and uh, i got a ton of questions about what this is like and to do a comparison with this baby right here so that's what i meant by quickly i wanted to do it as soon as possible i'll start by going over the specs um, this is the fendi nano baguette like i mentioned from the california sky collection uh, but again, this comes out in a ton of different styles and finishes. Um, there is a push button closure, as you can see. Um, there is a chain strap inside and uh, there's one slip pocket in the back. Otherwise, it's one open compartment. I do have a what's in my bag and first impressions on this little piece that I will link above and in the description box so you can check out a lot more like close-ups and details in that video. Um, and then there's one kind of key holder style um, hardware piece on the back. There's no other pocket or anything like that. The straps are detachable. Moving on to the Chanel piece. So this also has a push button closure. I have stuffed the strap on the inside, so one moment. So the strap comes out and you can see it's not detachable, but it does have grommets, um, which allow you to kind of move the bag uh, around the strap. Inside, there is no slip pocket, no zipper compartment, no nothing. It's just one open compartment on the inside and it is fabric lined. On the clasp, there is a um, there it, because this is meant to be a waist bag, this has a clasp on it and there is a little double CC charm at the end of the strap or waist belt part. <laughs> I know they're technically not the same item and I don't intend to compare them in that way, uh, but they are a very comparable size. I have put the sizes of both of them on the screen, but I'll put them here to compare. Visually, when you look at them, they're very, very similar. It might be because this one's more like white and this one's black that this one looks a little bit larger um, and I thought it was larger but technically size wise um, this has more depth for sure uh, this is why like this this is a, a bigger piece um, but they're actually pretty close in size uh, and I'll put them next to each other so you can see so that's pretty much an overview of both of these styles moving on to what fits inside I'll start off with the Fendi nano baguette um, because this does have a slip pocket in the back I usually put my cards in the slip pocket I fit about three cards in that spot and that's usually good for me I don't need to carry too many cards with me um, unless I know I'm like going on a longer trip or I'm going further away or things like that. So um, usually three cards will fit very comfortably in this slip pocket in the back here. And then in the main compartment, I usually will drop a hand sanitizer and this tiny one fits beautifully. There is actually a little bit of space that, that took, takes up about half of this capacity um, there's so there is some space on top and that's where I'll usually um, like throw in a hair tie um, that's usually what I carry in here if you really wanted to and you had like a smaller lip product you can fit that in here this is like a hair out lip stain that I think I featured in my like recent favorites video I, it's what on my lips right now and I really really like this guys like it doesn't peel it doesn't dry out your lips 
It's really, really nice. But anyway, um, uh, this one will also fit uh, right on top of the hand sanitizer. You can see now there's like really no space for anything else. Um, uh, and you can easily close it. If I think that would, I mean, I'd have my cards, my hand sanitizer, and my lip product. Like that's pretty much all I really need to carry. So that's the, those are the kinds of things that I put inside of here. For what fits inside this one, because there is no like slip pocket or anything like that, I have to put my cards straight in here. And uh, when I tried to carry this, I thought about putting hand sanitizer in here and it, it seemed to just take up a little too much space. Uh, with the cards in the back because this depth is a little bit thinner I think this is about two centimeters versus the nano baguettes about two and a half I think it's at half centimeter so those extra five millimeters make a little bit of difference um, I didn't feel like I really wanted to stuff my hand sanitizer in here with my cards um, so I, I opted not to do that and because this doesn't fit um, the lip product is unlikely to fit as well it's probably too bulky for it i mean like it does go in you see it it does fit um and you can close it but it's a little like bulgy if you get what i mean and um, because it's often on your waist i don't want it to be too bulgy because then it might look extra pronounced like at an angle on your body and i and I don't think that looks really flattering. So um, for this particular style, uh, based on how I wear it, I opt not to put too many bulky things inside. And it's practically just a card holder. I will just put cards inside this piece and will put it around my waist. If you were to put cards, you can definitely fit more than three cards. I would say you could fit anywhere to like five, eight, cards in there easily. If we think about this being like a card holder, then it's definitely like fits a lot of cards, <laughs> but it doesn't really fit a lot of anything else. <laughs> Moving on to the notable design differences between the two. The first one that definitely comes to mind for me is the fact that the straps are detachable on the nano baguette. Of course, the strap is also longer because this is not intended to be a waist bag, um, but the straps are detachable, which I think is a really excellent feature. I love having this dainty strap. I actually haven't worn this ever without the strap, uh, but I do like having the option because I guess if for some reason I needed another SLG or I much prefer to just wanted to like hang this somewhere so that I have easy access to the main cards that I need to use, then I think it's nice to be able to take the strap off. I have been able to wear this style as both a crossbody and as a belt bag. I will insert some photos so you can see that. This strap works well to accommodate both for those. Um, for making it a waist bag, I just unhook one side, I wrap it around myself. If there's any leftover, I wrap it around the top of the lid, the, the flap, and then I reconnect it um, to either the, the bit here or to some of the strap that's already running through the bag so that it stops moving um, and so you're able to wear this as both a crossbody and a waist bag the most notable design feature of this for me is really the clasp and the little dangly charm at the end here it's actually really 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 cute so i do like that part about this bag um, the waist strap is not super long. Now, I imagine most of us will be wearing it a little bit high up, but I did try to wear these with like some pants that sit a little bit lower, and I was having a harder time getting this to fit around me. There are three holes. There's one here, then there's one about an inch and a half later, and then there's another one an inch and a half later. Um, if I can find the photo that my essay sent me with a measuring tape, then you'll see the inch marks against the total strap length, the waistband length, and you can see if the dots correspond to uh, an inch measurement that works for you. But for me, I really like this little dangly bit at the end. I think it makes it really cute and extra special. So um, that's the most notable design difference that I wanted to highlight for this style. 
so as always we are running against the clock when it comes to sunlight so i'm going to uh, quickly run through the ease of use portion as well um, when it comes to using both of these styles i find them to be very similar um, and i have the same issue with both of them um, so they're both a push button closure and you might have noticed throughout this video when they're empty i don't have them shut closed and that's because if you try to shut close a push button closure when something's empty you literally have to squeeze the whole thing did you see that i mean it was a little painful for me to do so i'm not going to do it again <laughs> the same thing happens on the nano baguette um, if it's not full with something if it's if at the bottom there isn't enough stuff pushing up against the front part of the bag then this push button closure you have to like push it all the way down and it just makes me a little uneasy that's all like there's nothing innately wrong with that by any means but you know you just you don't want to like squish something plus this is so like puffy and cute like why would you want to squish it um and the 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 thing with the the chanel one is you can already tell like in the back there's like it will indent a bit if you keep having to do that like the the quilting here is already i'm gonna try and get some light on it but like you might be able to see that there is like a little dent in there from like trying to close it like that. So um, that's something to note for any style like this. It's probably not just the two of these. It's any kind of bag that's kind of in this style as well. Um, it's something that I am aware of when it comes to push button closures. I much prefer those like magnetic ones because then you just kind of, it gets placed there and then it clicks with the magnet and it stays shut you know um i'm i'm pretty sure a push button closure is probably cheaper than a magnetic one which is probably why it was used on these items because they are so small um but anyway uh that's definitely something that i wanted to note uh in case that bothers anybody that's why in the nano baguette i will put the hand sanitizer in there um, because it helps me close the bag a lot easier at the bottom when it comes to the Chanel one, because I don't put the hand sanitizer in there, um, I I just monitored like how I closed it, but I can tell that it's already starting to get a little bit pushed in the back because that's where I will, you know, hold it to push down. I don't know if I'll do anything particular for that. It's just something I wanted to mention. Other than that, I think um, both of these styles are really easy to like get in and out of. There's no like extra flap. There's nothing particularly cumbersome. I do like that the Nano Baguette has the extra slip pocket in the back. I think even though it's a really small piece, it does add um, for more organization. Uh, so I do like that for sure. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's anything particularly notable that I wanted to mention from ease of use. It's just this push button closure really gets on my nerves. I'm just gonna insist that this is some beautiful ambiance coming in right now. Like, let's just pretend we are five o'clock, sitting outside, about to have a glass of wine, and we're watching a beautiful sunset. Let's just imagine, okay? <laughs> I want to close off this video with sharing my final recommendations of both of these pieces. So I compared what fits inside, the notable design differences, and ease of use for these. Um, if you were really inclined on getting a very small leather good like, like this, um, that's pretty much a card holder that has straps on it, um, then I think both of these are definitely a good contender. If I really, really, really had to choose just one of the two, I would say the Fendi Nano Baguette is probably more bang for your buck. Um, this is def this was less than a thousand dollars USD. I will put all the details and everything in the description box, like always. So I can't remember the price off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it was less than a thousand dollars, and this one was just over a thousand dollars. So um, already, for what you're getting. Um, I think the Fendi Nano Baguette is a little bit more versatile, it has a little bit more room, and a little bit more organization. I really like this dainty chain. I think it, it, it's what helps really elevate this piece. When you, like, just wearing like an oversized t-shirt and you just like throw this on, like, it just makes it really, it's so nice, actually. Um, and it carries on that lightness, but because it is a thin metal chain versus it, let's say it could have been 
uh, like a thin leather strap or you know like one of those like a ro rolled kind of round leather straps but instead it's this like, really dainty metal chain and I think that really helps elevate this piece you're able to wear it crossbody you're able to wear it as a belt bag um, you can take the straps off entirely so from all of that versatility standpoint I think the Fendi Nano Baguette has to take it like if I really had to pick one doesn't mean I'm going to get rid of this. I'm happy to have it in my collection. I've been lusting after uh, those uh, vintage Chanel belt bags as well, um, but a lot of times I was concerned whether the, I would fit in the, the belt itself. Um, I feel like a lot of them are in pretty small sizes. So I am happy that I have this piece in my collection regardless. They are different, like this is more meant to be on your waist. So I am looking forward to wearing this in that kind of way. Um, and seeing what other ways I can wear it. I mean, I even, I think I saw, did I see someone like try to wear it as a necklace? Kind of like you can wear it around your neck, um, but I, I, I think it looks the best when it's on your waist. I'm definitely happy with this piece. I'm happy I have it in my collection. But for those of you who are wondering and wanted to really figure out which one would be the best for you, everybody's needs is going to be a little bit different. Uh, but in terms of best value, I think the Fendi Nano Baguette delivers on that front. I feel like the mini trend is still here. <laughs> it's not going anywhere by any means. They're all still getting smaller, so... <laughs> Um, there, there might be more styles that are coming out from both Fendi Chanel, a lot of places uh, that encompass this kind of really small mini accessory, uh, wearable accessory, if you will. So I hope you found this comparison helpful. Um, I know I haven't even really done a what's in my bag and first impressions on this, but it's so small I felt like this comparison would have been more helpful than just doing a what's in my bag and first impressions. If you would like me to do that, then let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time.